In this demonstration, I'm going to be looking at a very important factor in the Warhammer game that I hope is being brought over to Total War Warhammer. It's the tar pit effect, what we'd call the meat shield effect in Total War games. And that is using units that either have high numbers, high leadership, high durability, any factor that allows them to take on a unit of superior combat skill and hold that unit for a long time. So in this case we have the zombies of Sylvania up against the up against the uh, trolls, orc and goblin trolls. Now, the, in this mod, in the Call of Warhammer mod, trolls are much, much more powerful than they are in the tabletop game. They are still powerful entities on the battlefield, but nowhere near what they are in this mod. However, they are a good example of a unit that could be considered, not, I, I don't consider trolls to be overpowered, but once people start seeing units like Demigriff, Knights, Dragons, stuff like that, um, people say, well, isn't that unit incredibly overpowered? And, well, it is very powerful, but there are ways to counter it. And in, like for example, in Total War games, we are usually limited to bringing 20 units to the battlefield. So when you limit the amount of units and and the, the unit size of, I mean, the number of men in each unit is, is essentially the same. In that case, it's going to be hard to gain a real numbers advantage without sacrificing a lot, without sacrificing a lot of quality in your army. And that's something that can be done in, in, I'll just fast forward because this is going to take a long time. In Warhammer, something that can be done is to bring huge units of, of uh, models that are very, very cheap and then use them to hold down superior units for a long, long time, block off portions of the battlefield and such. So although these trolls are destroying zombies, they're also taking damage and it's going to be super hard for these trolls to get their points back to cover their costs, so to speak, by just killing zombies. And that's the same thing I hope to see in Total War Warhammer, that we have units able to cause incredible amounts of carnage, but then I can put a unit of 250 goblins in front of it and say, sure, you can, you can kill my unit of goblins, but it's going to take you three minutes to do it. Same thing with zombies. Sure, you can you can charge my zombies, but I'm going to keep resurrecting zombies from a unit of 300 men, and it's going to take you five minutes to get through that unit. So find some some find somewhere else to deal with that, or have your have a very expensive unit wasted. That could be pretty cool. Now I am running this at six times speed here, and you can see how long it takes my trolls to grind through these units here. So what these these uh, these zombies are essentially buying you time. They're buying you the time you need to use your magic, to use your shooting, to use your more dangerous killing units. So in terms of in terms of meat shield units, zombies almost can't be beat in terms of low price and the ability to res resurrect them when they die. The essential torpid unit, but other factions have the torpid units as well, and there they kill the orc and goblin general. So I'm not going to. I'm not, I mean, this this went on for a long ass time. I'm just going to end it here because the point has been made. So yes, I am really going to create that battle. So, but the trolls ended up killing 900 zombies, and the trolls all ended up dying to the zombies. So. CA, please, this is something I really, really hope to see in the Call of Warhammer game. Massively different unit sizes, torpid units, goblins, zombies, skeletons, and then units capable of massive devastation, but that need to be used with care, because you don't want a unit of, let's say, you don't want a unit of demigriff knights to be fighting a unit of zombies, or... You don't want the giant to be stuck in the middle of a unit of just zombies. It's going to give him indigestion if he tries to eat them as well. Strength and honor.